Alright, so someone recently suggested that I should make a video about my training, so I thought I haven't made a video in ages, so let's go and do it. So as you can see on the screen now, this was my rest week, which was on the 14th of December, so quite a long time ago. I was supposed to do an FTP test, um, as you can see here. Uh, it didn't go well. Basically, I just wasn't too tired. I had five weeks on, which was a bit dumb. It wasn't supposed to be five weeks on. It was supposed to be two weeks easy and then three weeks building, but anyway, I was just too tired. It was raining. I did like what I was gonna do for my effort five minutes and I was like, nah, there's just no point. Like, it was just too grim. Like, the climb I was doing on, it was genuinely just like a waterfall and was like, nah, nah. So the rest of this week was pretty chill. A couple easy hour rides. I actually often find it really hard to ride during a rest week. I just can't really be bothered um, because I'm just like, oh, it's a rest week, I don't need to. But I did three hours with my mate on, on the weekend on Sunday and that was, that was okay. So anyway, um, I'll just talk actually first before we go through this block just about my main goal. So my main goals basically are uni time trials. So there's the 10 mile 25 and team time trial in about a three week period, um, which ranges from sort of late March to mid April. So my huge goal is that uh, is basically to be absolutely flying then. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do obviously maybe some training that people think is too early, but obviously I'm trying to peak and be in my best condition quite early on. And considering the October, I end, finished racing 31st of October, two weeks off. It means there's not much time to do a classic periodization where I'd spend, you know, many, many months just doing base training. Um, so anyway, we'll, we'll get involved. So I finished uni uh, that that week. Um, so basically this week I was just free to ride um, and I don't have exams in January, so I can basically ride quite a lot. Um, so this week was just pretty chill. 4020s, which again, I think people are going to think, why are you doing 4020s? in December, but it's because realistically where I live in London, it's quite hard to do longer efforts because I basically just do them around the inside of a part, which is like one kilometer long. So it's quite easy to get bored. So I find if I do 40 20s, okay, maybe they're not perfect, but at least I'll do them. Um, so yeah, that's generally what I do. I think my internet's gonna be too slow, but they were anyway, I did three sets of them and not the four required. I, I always set myself four for the first week and then just, you know, see how it is. Three sets at 290 watts average, um, so pretty decent. On was about 390, 400, something like that, and off was like 150 to 200 watts, so nothing crazy. And the rest of this ride was just like 300 watts. Uh, so 200 watts, three hours, four hours, three and a half, three hours. So real just easy zone two, nothing crazy. My heart rate's got a lot lower for the power, which is good. It's like 130, 135 for 200 watts now, and in the summer it's about 180 for 135 beats per minute. So pretty happy with that. Bit of gym because I want to be able to run at some point because when I broke my leg, it still hasn't got better. Uh, anyway, next week, same hours up a lot. I only want to do 18, but end up being a 20 hour week on the bike, 21 in, when you include gym and core and stuff. Uh, I didn't do core this week. Anyway, same. So I did my 40 20s um, on this one. So uh, this one, I did four sets of them all at like 280. 7 to 90 average normalized obviously a lot higher because they're short efforts with big spikes in them um so yeah now we can see on the screen what it what it is um 312 normalized but average is more important really um and it was uh, 300 uh 300 302 um and 302 so Actually not bad. I thought it was I thought it was less power, but that's actually pretty decent to be able to do that. So I think I was getting confused with my efforts last week. So nine minutes at three hundred watts, like you know that that's showing my threshold is about what I thought it was, which about three ten. So pretty decent. Anyway, six hours with my mate the next day. Nothing too crazy. I think it was like two hundred normalized ish, one ninety normalized. So pretty chill. But one ninety for one hundred and forty beats per minute on on a six hour ride is not too bad. Quite a lot of cardiac drift in the last couple hours, but like, let's be honest, I'm training for my longest race will be like an hour, so doesn't really matter too much. Then did some tempo efforts, which I was quite happy about. New Year's was pretty chill, so just rode easy, e easy on that on the Friday. Then three and a half hours, four hours, so pff, just get it done. Nothing too crazy. Um, and like you'll see on my training, I don't really like doing complicated things. I've like looked at a lot of what people do, and like it's just a bit stupid. Like I just think you know. Hard days make them hard, easy days just easy, two hours. There's no point doing these like weird niche intervals. Like, yeah, maybe they'll work, but like most of the literature and most of the big name people just like, you know, coaches complicate it because they want to make it money, want to make you pay for it. Um, Anyway, uh, ignore Monday, that's just a rest day. Then we did the first proper threshold efforts. I decided that maybe 4020s is a bit early. 
It's like, mm, could be. So I then instead just do um, some intervals, which I quite like. They're like spike tempo. You'll see Bernal do them a lot and Ineos boys. I mean, it's just like sweet spot with burst. It's nothing crazy, but the point is, is obviously, you know, you, you accumulate more lactate on the highest higher section. So maybe you do 30 seconds, 30 to 45 seconds is what most people do, maybe a minute. Um, and you spend a continuous period of time, at least 10 minutes, maybe half an hour, maybe an hour if you have a really long climb. And you just do spikes. And the point is, is that if you just rode steady 90% the whole time, yeah, it's good. But what is better is to get the spikes and your body has lactate, clears it and all the rest of it. Um, and if we show my heart rate on this one, then you can see the way the heart rate goes up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. It looks pretty beautiful, to be fair, not going to lie, um, with the old up and down. You can see the power as well. Um, this is the one thing I was talking about. It was like not crazy, but you can see my left right balance is uh, it used to be about 47.53 and it's now got down to 49.51. So I'm quite happy with that. It shows my left leg is not too bad. But anyway, on these intervals, the first one was 300 normalized, so, which was 290 average, 290, 288, and then 287. So pretty consistent. Heart rate is not too high um, and all good. So pretty con content with my riding and then just kept doing easy days out. And then the rest of the week was just easy. Um, Easy three hours, easy six hours, three hours, four hours. Um, I was going to do efforts on the last Sunday, and I would have done them, but it was like minus four. Mm, wasn't really the one. Uh, I only missed one session, which was my gym session. I was just too tired, to be honest, and I had uni work to do, and I just could not be bothered. Um, and it's not great, but it was quite a good week. 24 hours in total, um, including, I mean, I included going to walk, walk my dog. Does that count as training? No, but, uh, you know, anyway, uh, it's not bad. It's not bad. I'm... Um, quite happy with it to be fair um and yeah so going forward i guess you might think well wh what is charlie going to do with this training or you might have just stopped watching the video which fair enough i probably would have done as well if if i wasn't making the video um and it's a big question i think of probably a lot of, a lot of things that people are going to have and a lot of questions people are going to have this year is like is racing going to happen so like basically i've realized my training for TTs and road races, I was almost identical. Like my best ever road racing series season, literally all the efforts I did, 30, 15s and eight minute efforts and then just race crits and just got fast that way. And I think, to be honest, I think that's that's all you need in the UK. The races are pretty short, pretty punchy and I'm quite good on those punchy efforts. So just zone two and those efforts. So I basically thought, well, if that's all the training I did for road races, let's not specialize on them. My big goal is TTs. And realistically, what's going to happen more, road races or TTs? TTs are going to happen. So that's basically what the plan is. The plan is just really focus on getting an absolute fat threshold. Um, and obviously, it's a shame I'm I'm at home. My TT bike's at where I am in uni, so I don't have my TT bike with me, which is a shame because obviously a lot of these efforts, um, I normally need to run my TT bike three times a week, so two rest day rides, which people think is pointless, but I'm like, you might as well spend as much time as you can on a TT bike and, you know, it's easy. I know Froome, he rides his TT bike on his rest days and I'm a big Froome fan. So why not do it? Um, you know, it's okay. And I normally try and do one specific efforts on my TT bike per week um, just to get the position dialed and just like get comfortable in an aero position because it's quite easy to do big numbers on a TT bike sitting upright, but in the aero position, that's the goal. Um, so yeah, obviously that's a bit of a shame, but as you can see here, it's just big threshold tempo. I've got a two week block now before I go back to uni. So this week, easy gonna do an FTP, oh no, not an FTP test, it's gonna do a Zwift race, which is sort of a proxy FTP test. It's gonna be 20 minutes, half an hour, just see what I can do. Um, obviously I I am terrible indoors and don't really like it, but a bit of ban, um, might live stream it, potentially, potentially. Uh, but I've got an FTP test here um, after a big two week block, both over 20 hours, um, two high intensity, one tempo, um, and the rest just obviously easy easy hours, um, bit of gym. So it, it should be good. At the moment, my FTP is 310, which is probably five watts per kilo. I'm probably like 62 now. I haven't weighed myself for a bit, but I haven't been eating that badly and been training quite a lot. So probably like 62, 61. So like five watts per kilo. So it's all right. Um, it's not unreal. Uh, but the plan is to try and get back to 330, 335, which is what I was two years ago now, which sounds a long time, but you know, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, get back to 330 and then probably get back down to 59 kilos um like i was in hill climbs which is a bit of an effort but if i could hit six watts per kilo for 20 minutes that'd be quite sick so that is sort of the the other goal if no racing happens uh but you know we'll see we'll see um but yeah apart from that pretty much that's all my training is happening i might be heading back to bristol where there's some better roads to train i can run my tt bike etc etc 
Um, and in terms of racing, these are the races we penciled in. Um, I'm not sure how many I'm gonna do um, because the issue with TT races, they're not physiologically that strenuous, like a 10 mile TT. So I think if I do a 10 mile TT, let's say, I'll probably whack efforts afterwards, but then if I have a race next day, you're like, oh. So I haven't really thought um, about what I wanna do yet with regards to this, but I might, I probably will m maybe do one a weekend, maybe, but I, I don't know, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how many can happen, how many aren't, because obviously the UK, uh, well, they've decided that we can't leave our houses, which is, is, is not ideal uh, when you want to race, race your bike, or well, it's not ideal for anyone at any point, um, but apparently that's a clever thing to do. But we, we won't talk much more about that. But anyway, so yeah, we'll see, but hopefully, TTs will happen and you know we've got a disc wheel now we've got a good position and uh, I think I think we could go we could go quite well um big goal I guess is just you know threshold 330 again but I don't know we'll see but anyway cheers for watching it's been a long one uh you got any more questions about training or anything else I might do a little vlog tomorrow maybe I just want to make more videos again so I might do a little vlog about my life what I do in a day I'm sure it's gonna be riveting uh and yeah so anyway cheers for watching see you next one